Hello, my friends. Kristen here with a new episode of Free Spirit Beading. And I just have a little bit of bead table sorting to do. So I'm going to do that for the next couple of minutes while some of you are jumping on. Say hello. Hi, Sylvie. Happy Monday. How is everyone doing out there today? I am feeling a whole lot better. I even got my doggies out for a walk on my lunch break before I came in to the video. So that was nice. Trying to get back in the habit, um, you know, even though it's been it's always really nice here in Phoenix. It was kind of chilly in December and it got me off my routine of taking my doggies for a walk. And then January was kind of hectic and then we were out of town. So I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like I was off my game. Hey, Kimberly. Hi, Facebook user, friend on Facebook. Lovely to see you. Hey, Anne. Karen and Melissa Jewelry Art is here. We're going to have Melissa on with Sarah Ayler on Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific time on the Softlex Company Facebook page and YouTube channel. So tune in for that. And if you miss us live, you can always watch the replays. The replays are always available. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Dale. Dale is in New York. Hey, Dana. Lovely to see everyone. I am just playing with my beads at the moment, doing a little sorting of my Love Bug bead mix to clean up my table. The beauty of my videos every Monday is that I get a chance to clean up my mess before I get started, but then I create more mess when I'm done. So I don't know, <laughs> but I was just feeling really good about the cleanup right before I went live. I was like, oh, this is so nice that I get a chance to straighten everything up and, you know, get rid of all the bits and pieces of wire and all that stuff. Um, but it's short lived because I'll make a mess again. <laughs> um, so how are you all doing out there with your love bug kits? We've got love bug kits. We have love notes. Did you grab your Galentine's Day kit yet? That is coming up next week. I think it's next Tuesday. Is the 13th next Tuesday, next Wednesday? It is February 13th will be our Galentine's Day party with our friends over at uh, Jesse James Beads. Sarah James will be hosting it this time. And we have four fantastic designers that are joining us. We have Deb Floros, we have Brittany Shavers, we have Jennifer Miller, and we have Rachel Malice. So gonna be a fun, fun time. Hanging out with your gal pals. So if you haven't grabbed your kit, make sure to get your supply kit from Softlex Company and your bead kit from Jesse James Beads. I know that they are shipping them all out right now. So those of you that have already ordered should probably have them in your hands pretty soon, if not already. And yeah, I'm going to be actually using some beads from my Galentine's kit last year. It just sort of worked out that way because when I was looking for more pinks, I went back to my stash and I found some fun pinks from last year. All right. My table is ready to go. <laughs> Nancy. Oh, my gosh. Nancy says, hello, everyone. Totally buried under snow here in Canada. The snow on the deck is above my head. Holy moly. Yeah, definitely not uh, not snowing by me. 
it's actually quite beautiful again. So it's been pretty nice um, to go out and take a walk. Nancy says it was so windy and blew up against the house. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty though, right? When, especially when it first falls. And I love the feeling of just being like stuck inside, all cozy, keeping warm. Like that is really, I do miss that. Not something that happens here very often. <laughs> We do that with the rain. I'm kind of a, uh, I'm really silly about, I won't even like drive in the rain if I don't have to. Um, not like a little rain, but if it's, you know, we get our monsoons and we get some downpours and I'm always like, they'll pass. And I'd rather just wait. Our roads flood like crazy here because it kind of downpours and then everything gets flooded. And so I'm like, I'll cancel plans if it's raining, <laughs> which is so silly growing up in New York where it rained a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. Linda says, love all the pictures you have painted behind you. Thank you. Thank you. I haven't painted in a little while. I've been taking a, taking a little break. Um, I'm feeling the itch to get started. I almost painted this weekend, but I ended up gardening, doing some yard work and cleaning the house a little bit instead. But yeah, I just was like, I need a break. I felt like everything I did and everything I was looking at was like terrible. And that's when you know, and you're like, okay, I need to just give myself a moment. I'm like paint over everything, destroy it all. <laughs> That's kind of where I, it's kind of how I was feeling at the end of the year. And so it was time to take a break. Ah, hi, Jane. Jane says, catching this live is such a nice way to start the week here in Kansas City. So happy to hear it. We're happy to have you here joining us as well. So here is my little graphic for the Galentine's Day DIY jewelry making party. You can find all the details at softlexcompany.com and also at jessiejamesbeads.com and join us live next week. Um, you can watch all of the designers for free, but you can't make along with them unless you get the kit. So be sure to grab your kits uh, so you can make some really pretty things with them all. And then right now at softlexcompany.com, we have um, quite a few things going on. This is $5 off $49 or more, $10 off $69 or more, $20 off $99 or more. No coupon needed for any of that, just retail orders. And they you will automatically see those discounts pop up when you add items to your cart and you hit those subtotal thresholds. Um, you'll also get free shipping on online orders over $65 or more in the US. And bonus, because we were missing Tucson, we put all of our gemstone beads 25% off with the coupon code FOMO, F-O-M-O. That means fear of missing out. And so anything on our website in the gemstone beads category, you find it by going to beads and then click on gemstone beads. And then anything in there will be 25% off with that coupon code. Um, and you'll see that discount get applied once you enter the coupon in your cart. So if you shop for gemstone beads, I mean, you can, you can stack all of these. You can get your 25% off, your $20 off 99, your free shipping. I mean, it's, it's quite a deal. We definitely were missing, um, Missing all of our friends in Tucson and all of our shopping in Tucson. I did get down there for the uh, for a couple of hours. I hitched a ride with my husband who had some things to do in Tucson. And so he dropped me off and I um, got to spend a few hours at the African Art Village and the Pueblo Gem Show. Um, and it was so much fun. I missed seeing my friends. I didn't get to see anybody while I was there because everyone was off doing all their own things. We were supposed to get together on Sunday and I just couldn't make it on Sunday. Um, but I did get my little, my little taste of Tucson. Um, and that's always a good time. All right. 
Oh, let me first, before I switch down, let's talk about what we're gonna make. I am wearing the necklace we're gonna make today. I'm gonna have to cut it apart and put it back together with all of you. So we have these gorgeous rectangle fossil, fossil coral agate beads in the shop. And we have them in a few sizes, they're all big. So this is the rectangle. I think it's like 40 millimeters uh, high by 30 millimeters wide, somewhere around that. And then I've got some of the coins here. Look at those. And then we also have squares and we have ovals. So um, these are the two shapes that I have to play with. And we're gonna give away one of the um, strands of the rectangles here. So the hashtag go big at the bottom of the screen, that is uh, gonna enter you in to win the giveaway. You must be here at the end to win when I call your name. And it is a, you'll get three of these um, rectangle beads for free, or you can go grab them right now at softflexcompany.com and use that FOMO, F-O-M-O coupon code, get 25% off. So I thought it would be really fun to share just one idea, just something you can do with a really large rectangle gemstone bead. They can be a bit intimidating to be like, what do I do? I mean, they can't, they're a little bit heavy for earrings. Um, you can go kind of minimalistic and go this way on some chain or make your own like wire wrap chain. You can wire wrap the pendant in a similar way we did for the Great Beat Extravaganza and make it kind of a nice fancy wire wrap um, pendant. But this is a nice, simply strung necklace, real, um, real comfortable to wear. And what do you think of the length? I'm gonna bring the camera down just a little bit. This is where I ended up on the length. I cut 32, I have 32 inches of soft flex beading wire. Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with it. I, you know, you could go up higher, make it a little shorter and put a clasp on it. And you probably could go even a little bit lower if you wanted to. I added some rose quartz, these barrel beads here and the rose quartz on the bottom. We're all in the Galentine's kit from last year. So I still had them in my stash to play with. I do think I'm gonna move them up just a smidge. So see where they sit right now? I think I'm gonna swap these little beads here with these here and just do a quick swap. And I think I'll be more, I'll like them um, a little bit higher up. You guys are liking the length, awesome. Yes, you could totally layer it with something else, which is always a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and switch down to my bead table and get going. So I've got some beads here from the Love Bug kit. That was our most recent kit. I think we have four of these left in the shop. So if you didn't grab one and you want to, go ahead and... Um, Grab one of them before they're all gone. We always have a coupon. I'm not going to show it, but we always have a coupon on the other side of this list. So if you do get our kits, uh, don't miss out on the coupon that's on the opposite side. That's for those of you that purchased it. And this was the bracelet we made together during the reveal. This was all beads that were included in the kit as well as this really pretty artisan charm. You can check out that um, video from last week on the Softlex Company YouTube channel. So I'll move that out of the way. I think almost all of these were in the Love Bug bead mix. There was a strand of black fire polish, so that might've been separate. Um, the ladybugs, we're separate, but you can pick these up at softlexcompany.com if you want some more of those. The little bee, I love this bee. I have to come up with something for this bee. Um, we have more of these. These are all, these are ceramic as well as the ladybugs here are ceramic. And then these ladybugs were um, check glass. And these were only in the kit. You can't get those separately. 
let me just assess everything else. Actually, this little one, I think this was from the Galantine strand last year too. So I'm pulling some things from my stash in addition to some of the things that we have available. Um, aren't these so pretty? Look at these. I was originally thinking I was going to make something with this. I was just like a real, look at how pretty that is just as a bracelet. Just need some spacer beads and a clasp and you are good to go. I love how each one is got its own unique little personality too. So you can totally pull this apart and use them each separately in very different designs. And, um, oh, I have these two also. These came with the kit and you can still grab these hearts um, that have a little silver AB on one side. These I think are sold out, but we do have the same shape in a gold color and that one's still available. So this was, these were all together in one strand and I just chose one of them to use as my focal point. We're gonna string it all on Softlex pink tourmaline color beading wire. This is our medium diameter, 0.019. And this was the one that was included in the Love Bug kit. In addition, I've got a jump ring. I've got this eye beadwork finding, which is so fun. I really love it as um, a little counter focal to this big stone because I feel like it adds a little bit of whimsy and also like lightens the weight of them both a little bit, especially with having um, the rose quartz down here. I just, I don't know, I just really like how it kind of is a nice play on those heavier stones, kind of giving it a little bit lightness. And then we've got these really pretty um, four millimeter fire polish, like a matte pink color. And in here, we've got, I just made a little spacer bead with three, three beads. So these are the Copper Daisy History Spacers, which are a tongue twister. They're check glass. And then these little gold spacers were in the Love Bug bead mix. And again, these rose quartz bundle little barrels were, um, or big barrels, were in the Galantine strand last year, but you can always incorporate something else from your stash. And then these cuties, these were in the Snowy Day, Great Beat Extravaganza Snowy Day kit. I thought they were so sweet. And I loved how they brought a little bit of copper in because I have copper, um, these copper spacers. And so they just bring like a little bit of copper and I like the little, again, a little bit of whimsy. I feel like it's got a little bit of whimsy with those star beads, uh, snowflakey star beads and this eye beadwork finding. Mary is asking, wouldn't that be heavy? Yeah, it would be a pretty heavy bracelet, but I'm okay with that. I, um, it would definitely be a bracelet where you'd feel it. You know what I mean? Like it would have some weight to it and you'd feel it. And sometimes I like to wear jewelry that has, uh, it kind of gets, gets noticed on me, I guess. Like I feel it there. Um, I don't think it would be, so heavy that it is uncomfortable to wear, but you definitely would be noticing it that you have a bracelet on. <gasps> Mari can't wait for the Galatine's party. I know, so fun. I love parties like that. It's gonna be a full day of exciting um, designs and everything will be available for replay. So if you can't join us live, I know it's a weekday, um, then you can always join us on the replays. All right, enough yabbering. Let me take a drink and get going here. So I'm gonna take off some pink tourmaline 
wire. I'm going to do 32 inches. And you could even do just a smidge more, like 33, 34, so you have a little bit of space for your, um, your crimping. I might make a change here because I have one of these left and I wanna make a pair of earrings. And so I'm thinking about taking away this one and putting this instead, or maybe putting one of these little um, beads down here instead so that I could use that for an earring. What do you think? I could, well, I kinda like it there. So let's cut that free. Oh, you missed out on snowy day. I know there's so there were some fun things in snowy day. I feel like these might be like my favorite little bead that was in there. So, so fun. So what do I want to do first? First, let's take Let's take this apart. And I'm just gonna trim this off so you can see what I've got here. I've got a, a jump ring. I've got one of our um, textured jump rings attached to this beadwork binding. And then down here is just a head pin with a simple loop. So those are those parts and pieces, which I might change this. I don't know. And then we've got our fossil coral agate, our large rectangle bead. And then we've got how many of these? One, two, three, four, five. That makes six. I actually have this one over here too, seven. So if I take two away to make a pair of earrings, and then on this, I want to switch this to here, because I want to make these barrels a little bit higher up. So I'm just going to think about that. And I'm going to start stringing. I'm going to put a bead stopper on one end. And I'm going to start stringing from the top here. So I've got these little four millimeter fire polish beads. Got one at the tippy top. I've got this little cluster of spacer beads that I put together, which is a copper daisy hishi followed by one of these little gold hishi spacers and then another copper hishi and just kind of made my own little, um, little bead cluster. Hey, Becky, glad you could join us. Love these beads. I know, aren't they pretty? I was looking for a pair of earrings just to throw on with it, and I realized that I didn't have too many earrings in this color, in like this kind of soft pink. So that's why I thought, well, if I pull out two of these little beads and add some pink beads from the... Um, ladybug mix because look at how nicely that goes with those rose quartz beads that one or that one they go pretty well i feel like i like I feel like i like that one a little bit better it has a little more of a jimmy jimmy vibe and then i'll have some earrings to wear with it too 
Let's see here. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I did one, I did three, and now I'm going to do seven. And I think I used every last fire polish from one strand. So if you want to beat up your necklace further, like you don't want the soft flex to show as much as I have it on mine, uh, just grab two strands of the fire polish and you'll have plenty of beads to go all the way all the way up. Okay, so now here's where I want to make my adjustment. So instead of that, I want to put this. Oops, what am I doing over here? Knocking, knocking beads off. So I'll do one of these copper spacers, one of these little snowflake star beads, another copper spacer, this rose quartz barrel, copper spacer. I'm going to call them a snow star because I think we were intending them to be a snowflake, but they look more like a little star to me in this design. And then I'm going to come back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nancy says, I like to see some of the soft flex wire. I want to see the color of it. Got to show it off. Yes, especially when it's this pretty and it matches what you've got going on so well. It's so fun to be able to see it. And it's really comfortable. Like, I don't know that I, I don't know if we say that enough, but it's actually com really comfortable to wear. Um, like, it doesn't dig into your neck or your skin in any way and it lightens the load of your piece so and you have to use less beads so if you if you run out of beads that you wanted to wanted to use you don't have to worry about it because you can just let the wire um show off on the back so many so many good things awesome so now i've got one side one front side done I'm going to move my bead stopper down here. And now I'm going to do the same pattern. Again, starting from the top. And then this way, I don't have to have anything crimped or anything in the back. This will just be my back of my necklace. And I'll do all of my crimping at the front where my pendant is. I saw a question about comments. Let's see. Oh, and Becky says, those pinks from the Love Bug Kit are so rose quartz coated. They are. They totally give those rose quartz vibes. Penny, hello from South Carolina. I can only comment on Facebook. I'm sure, I'm not sure, I think you're saying, I'm not sure why I can't comment on YouTube. Even signed up for a premium YouTube. Anyone know how to comment live on YouTube? Oh, I don't know if I've had that issue, Penny. You should be able to comment in the live chat. And I don't think you have to be on premium to comment. Melissa says, I love the ceramic beads on the website or whenever they come in the kits. Nancy agrees. Yeah, we have, we've had a lot of fun ceramic beads in the last year. Um, I don't know if you all remember early last year, I think it was early 2023, um, we had a vendor of ours that carries many of these ceramic beads that um, decided he was closing his business. And so on multiple occasions, there was a couple of times Sarah went out to the warehouse and did some fun picking through all of his goodies. And that's how we acquired so many super fun ceramic beads. And 
Um, it's really helped in some of the kit theming to have these really unique handmade um, ceramic beads. I think they've been very cool. They're such good quality and they come in all different shapes and sizes. And I don't know how many we have left. I'm not sure if we kind of really depleted it from <laughs> last year or if she's got some still in this in her stash. But um, from what I what I think we're getting we're getting to down to the last of them. Karen is saying you just have to have an account set up in YouTube and Dale is saying all you need to do is sign into YouTube. If you're not signed in, you can't comment. So maybe you just need to be signed into your account so it knows you're logged in and then allow you to comment. Let's see where I'm at with my pattern here. Did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, I wanna take this one off. I had a feeling I did that. And I wanna put the rose quartz barrel next. So I'm just repeating the same pattern on the other side here. And this part's gonna get long, longer, but right now it's just helping me um, make sure I'm staying on track. The pink faceted beads are available. Yes, you can find those in our four millimeter fire polish product. I think we've got a ton of colors. I think the pink is still available. Um, maybe you can check that for me, Damien. I just hadn't had a chance to use them yet. So I grabbed them on Friday when I was thinking about my design, but I think we've still got them. Hey, Terry. Penny says, I used to make my own pottery beads. I need to get my pottery studio set up again. Oh my gosh, how awesome is that? Oh, she had a year long possum infestation. Holy moly. And you wouldn't, you weren't able to go into your basement. Holy moly. I know possums are good, but not in my house. It made my cats crazy. No, definitely not in our house. <laughs> Yikes, this is Nancy, right? You have, they have to keep their own space. Caroline, it is a Tucson find. It is a huge bone carved moth and is the first thing I purchased when I went into the Pueblo show um, down in Tucson because the moth is my symbol of the year. I'm still not exactly sure why it's calling me at the moment, but um, I feel like it's a need for me to kind of look at my shadow side a little bit. <laughs> um, so yeah, but it's, I've decided it is my symbol of the year. So as soon as I saw this big moth, they had other, um, they had other, uh, other carvings to some bears and some Buddhas and so all sorts of things. But once I saw the moth, I knew I had to have it. I know. There are some really cool moths in nature, Nancy. It's like you only think of like the not so great looking ones, <laughs> right? Or you have like, might have some bad, uh, whenever I thought of moth, I just thought of the moths that ate all my clothes during the winter or something like that in your attic. But there are some really beautiful moths. Okay, like that lunar moth, that green lunar moth, that is a beauty. So this is more how the necklace is gonna be where you've got soft flex wire showing in the back and then here's the pattern up in the front and 
Then I'm gonna put on this pendant. And I'm trying to think if I wanna, I think what I'm gonna do is go right about there. What I'm gonna do is crimp it before my pendant. I need one of these on here too. So that one's gonna go and kind of connect them there in the front. <laughs> Marisol says, when I think of moths, I think of Silence of the Lambs or Mothman. <laughs> Yes, those are spooky. Luna moths are so pretty, aren't they, Becky? Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So you can use um, gold or copper crimps because I used both in the necklace. I think I'm gonna go with gold. Gold two by two millimeter crimp tubes. And I'm gonna leave one length longer so that I can go into my pendant and then crimp around the bottom and then the other part can be shorter because I'm just going to trim that off. Let me make sure I have enough space here. Yeah, that looks good. Go ahead and use my magical crimping pliers. Put that crimp right in the center notch of your pliers. I'm using a two by two millimeter crimp tube from Softlex Company in gold filled. I'm gonna crimp it once. It'll pinch all four corners like a ravioli. And then I'm gonna put it back in to my little notch here, 90 degrees from my first crimp and then crimp it again. And then I'm gonna rotate it around and really get in there. And if you're having any trouble with crimps holding, um, you could try adding an extra piece of wire in here to get three pieces of wire. Oh, yeah. Some people have found that really helpful. And then I'm gonna trim off that little right. part. Perfect. And you'll see that that will, crimp will fall right through this bead here. So just make sure you don't lose your design before you're finished working through it. So here, and your crimp will actually go through this bead too, which you can use in your favor if you wanna hide it. So now I strung on my large rectangle bead focal, and I'm gonna crimp it to my jump ring that I have here on my eye beadwork findings. And the reason I put a jump ring on instead of doing it just to this, well, I guess it doesn't matter. You could do it just to this, actually, if you wanted to. When I did my necklace the first time, I didn't crimp it the same way I just did it now. So you could have that jump ring or not. I kind of like the little extra um, texture it gives but that's up to you if you wanna have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another crimp tube on here. Slide this on, pull my wire back up to my crimp and I'm not gonna crimp it right away cause I wanna make sure I've got it all situated in a way that's comfortable. So if I let that slide down, yeah, that'll be good. And then I can kind of move this up since everything slides right through my bead here, I can move that up and out of my way, allowing me to pay attention to how I'm crimping. And I also make sure this is gonna go that way. Perfect. You want it to crimp with my loop. I want it to crimp with my loop going 
left to right, east to west, is that right? And then trim off the excess and allow everything to fall back down. And I love how it just sort of all cinches up there. You don't see any of your crimps or anything. All you see is that little twisted jump ring. And then lastly, I'm gonna do my dangle at the bottom. And you could use one of these little snowy ones again, but I want to save two for a pair of earrings. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this um, pink crystal bead instead and do those two at the bottom. So these rose quartz pieces and this crystal bead came in the Galantine strand last year. Um, so if you have that around, you can go grab them and use them in this. If you don't, then you can um, find something in your own stash. It doesn't have to be this big because this one looked really nice too. And then I'm just going to add a head pin. Hopefully this still fits just barely. <laughs> Go ahead and make my loop. I probably have to make a small loop. Straighten it out and then I can open it back up and connect it right in the center of my eye. Ooh, itty bitty loops. I know some of you are masters at keeping all of your loops and crimps and stuff really nice and tiny. I'm not necessarily that. <laughs> And there you go. Isn't that great? Why do I have one of these? Did I miss something? No. Okay, good. Oh, I had it down here before. I didn't have a whole lot of space, but that could have been nice to, to put that back in there. That's okay. I'm not going to worry about it right now. And there you have it. A beautiful design for utilizing some really large rectangle bead as a focal and then adding in some fun other big beads. As your secondary focals, I guess. This is sort of a play on the totem style necklace we made last week. It, that necklace inspired me to stick with a similar um, style and idea in the in the design and it lended itself to a very different project. Nancy says might need a, a jump ring as a go between oh for here maybe it you might actually just for um, I'll have to see it might be a little stiff I didn't need it when I was wearing it before but that is a good suggestion that I could put another jump ring down here as a go-between and that might allow this if this is feeling a little stiff here. Thanks, Panage said I like the use of the different shades and tones of the pink. I'm gonna go put it back on and let's see. Let's see how it looks with a slight change in the design from before. So I moved these up. Which I think I like better. I found that they were a little bit too close to the pendant before. And so I just moved them slightly up. <laughs> oh. 
All right, so four, four millimeter check glass strand. I see silver in photo, but not to buy. The silver is probably sold out, Maria. Yeah, it might have. It was a color we did have, but I have a feeling that that one has um, has sold out. That particular color. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for all the love. So if you haven't entered the giveaway, now is your chance to enter hashtag go big. And I will choose a winner here in just a moment. Just want to remind you all, we've got a wonderful week of savings happening. This all ends tomorrow, Tuesday, February 6, 2024 at midnight Pacific time. So last chance to get these deals happening. And if you don't already follow us, we are on Facebook. We have a Facebook group, Softlex VIB Studio. You can find us on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest, Twitter, and Threads. You can also use the hashtag SoftLexWire, and that will help us to see some of the designs that you all are making on all of your social media platforms as well. Let's go ahead and share my screen. We've got 69 people entered right now. You must be here when I call your name. I know I love those fossilized coral pieces too, Terry. They're so pretty. All right, here we go. I'm definitely gonna have to play with the coins too, but I thought maybe the rectangles were a little more uh, tricky. <laughs> so I wanted to start with those, <laughs> challenge myself a little. The winner is Angel. Angel, are you still here? If you are, let us know in the comments. Congratulations. Yay, Angel is still here. So you will win some of these rectangle um, fossil agate coral beads. Just send us a message at infosoftlexcompany.com and let us know your shipping address, and we will get that out in the mail to you. Congratulations. Thank you all for joining me today for another episode of Free Spirit Beating. I'll be back next Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific time here on the Softlex Company Facebook page and YouTube channel. Join Sarah on Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific time for a beating party with our friend Melissa Martinez, who is here in the comments today. And then join us again on Friday at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time with Joyce for a new episode of Spill the Beads. Did you all see her project on Friday? I was looking for a picture because I wanted to share it in the email today, um, but maybe I'll get one from her um, a little bit later this week. But it was such a great project. It was so cute and very Valentine's Z. Lots of wire wrapped hearts. So if you missed that, be sure to go check it out. It was an awesome video. Nancy, thank you so much. Thanks, Dana. Thanks, Dale. Jenny, bye. Bye, everyone. See you all next time.